Just thinking, talking about what's uh, what's ahead later this week. Mm -hmm. It's it's not just snow. It's right. it's not just cold. It's the not wind. just wind. It's it's yeah. all those things. It's all of those <laughs> things. And a lot of people are getting really hung up on the snow total numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we really shouldn't even do that because it's not going to matter whether we get four inches of snow, twelve inches of snow, eighteen inches of snow, which is certainly a possibility. With the winds in combination with any of the snow that we get, I think we are likely talking blizzard conditions. So with those winds whipping around near zero visibility, is it going to be in the forecast for Thursday through Friday night? So this system, we really need to take it seriously, especially for those of you that do have travel booked for late this week. So on top of all, all the snow that we're expecting, damaging wind gusts are going to be possible. So we could be dealing with wind gusts Thursday night into Friday as high as about 50 to 55 miles per hour. So in terms of snow removal, it's going to be really difficult to clear out those roads without having those drifts just piling right back up because with really cold air building in, the type of snow that we're going to be dealing with is going to be very light, very fluffy, and it's going to blow around very easily. And with those wind gusts and that colder air building in, dangerously cold wind chills are also in the forecast by the end of this week, Friday right on through your Christmas weekend. So we do have a winter storm watch going into effect for basically all locations with the exception of LaPorte County, but even for those of you in LaPorte County, you are are still going to have some pretty heavy impacts from this. So future cast snowfall. Before I show you these numbers, just know that some of these are going to be changing as we tweak the exact track of this system. But I wanted to show you what some of these models are spitting out. Now, I feel fairly confident at this point that basically area wide, we are talking a six to eight inch snowfall as a likelihood here. Now I know all of your eyes are jumping straight to the pink shaded area here. That's 12 to 18 inches. We have two of our most reliable models really spitting out about 12 inches of accumulation in some portions of the area. So yes, this could be a very big storm that we're dealing with as we go into Thursday and Friday. In terms of travel, the worst times to travel with this is going to be Thursday afternoon and evening right on through Friday night. So if you can hold off until Saturday or possibly move your travel up to Wednesday, that's probably going to be your best bet here. Now, future cast, I'm going to breeze right through the next couple of days. Pretty much what you can expect for Tuesday and Wednesday is going to be mostly cloudy conditions. We'll have a couple stray snow showers, but no real accumulation here. Then as we look ahead to Thursday, that snow is going to start to build in mainly Thursday afternoon. Notice those darker shades of blue here with this low pressure system possibly passing basically right overhead. That's going to put us in the direction of seeing some of those heaviest snow totals. So heavy snow is possible Thursday night through the day on Friday, then finally coming to an end on Friday night. But notice we're going to see uh, seeing those very damaging wind gusts coming out of the northwest again as high as about 50 to 55 miles per hour. So we're going to possibly be dealing with scattered power outages on top of very cold conditions as well as that snow. For tonight, we're going to see low temperatures right around 23 degrees. Your seven day forecast the next couple of days things are fine. We see temperatures in the lower 30s. If you can travel Tuesday or Wednesday, that would be great because Thursday we have that snow building in. It gets very windy, very cold on Friday. High temperatures are only in the single digits. Keep in mind wind chill temperatures Friday and Saturday are going to be as cold as 25 to 30 degrees below zero. Dawn.